and um, this meeting has been posted and publicly in three places on the website and emailed to interested parties so we can go ahead and legally convene and um, I would um, see if we have any um, public comments and farther down the agenda we'll uh, afford five minutes per speech on that um, does uh, we have the minutes from the prior meeting of September 27th and I looked through them and they looked appropriate to me. I'd move to approve those. I second it. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. All right. We've got those minutes. Um, <clears throat> we don't have any guests in line tonight, but um, under new business, we have uh, the topic of the radar trailers, which have been, I guess they're not really trailers, they're signs, the radar signs, which even when they were new, we got them from a grant that Mark Belisle got from the highway safety program and they were um, not very functional from the start. They were on and off. Um, I, I didn't know if they helped to slow down any traffic or not just by being there even if they're not functional. What are, what are you guys thoughts on those? I don't know. I, I don't really have any thoughts about them. It would be nice if they worked but I've, I've checked with the sheriff's office and they don't know where we even need can go to get anything repaired there uh, and when i cleaned out the basement down there i couldn't find any material on them and when tom schnabel was on the board who sees you know worked for a, a lighting led lighting company for a long time and um he he um he just shook his head at them they're they're pretty <laughs> uh, funky I mean, what do you think should we just take them down and and, and declutter the road that's what I think would be the best thing. Nancy, yeah. Nancy you have a comment? I just want to make a comment. I think we're paying a lot of insurance on we, I mean, it. Um, so it's, we do have good audio for most people, but not from Nancy, it seems. And um, she just commented that we're um, paying insurance on them. And we have since um, ceased that. So we're not um, leaking that money anymore. Yeah. Um, June, I have a question. Are uh, the ones I remember are the one on the north end of the village and the one um, before you went up Bethel Mountain Road next to the park? Oh. No, nope, nope. we're talking about the ones on the north and the south end of the village on Route 100. Okay, wasn't there one when they were working on Bethel Mountain Road? Wasn't yes, there one but that was there? temporary. That's gone. Yeah, I know that's not there anymore. I just yeah. wondered if that was another one of the ones we owned or. No, no, nope, nope, that was okay, uh, so part of the project. Talking. Yeah. Okay, so you're just talking about two signs, one on each end of the village. Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Can you hear me now? No, that's a better. A little bit better. Okay. Yeah. So, I um, I think we should take them down. I, I move we do that, and in the future we may come with a more robust option of something that will actually work. Right. But so, are we removing them from our inventory? I would, I would think so. Remove them from the road and the inventory. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Second that. I second that. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. Um, I presume. No, I didn't see any hands on the computer or, or in the room here, so I, I think we can move forward on that. So we have uh, someone interested in the the um, the open position on the planning board, and that's um. Louis Kochi, is that how you say his last name? I think so. Huh? C-O-C-C-I, yes. Kochi. I don't know. Um, he's um, the one that is um, slowly but surely rebuilding the, the burned Tupper Farm Lodge down there. Um, oh, he's, cool. um, he's actually um, been in the area quite a bit. I think he used to work over at the Blueberry Hill Inn over in Goshen, and he is the um, um, assistant um, town clerk in Pittsfield and he's to ha actually had some some schooling in, in planning so it, he has met with um, um, Sandy and Dan and, and, and we're acting on their recommendation to um, appoint him to that position and I'd, I'd move to do so. And when does that position uh, run out? What's the term for? Does that happen at the town meeting? Um, this would be... 
Is he is he's, he taking he's, someone's he's, place? He's filling. Yeah, we had had. Um, he's taking someone's place, and then at the town meeting, then it might be. But I, I'm not sure when that. Lancy is jumping for the book to see when that. You know, it's um, Eric. To fill the remainder of the term. To fill the remainder of the term. Okay. Um, Eric Fullman. And step down this year. And then when does Eric's um, expire, Nancy? Wait one second. Yep, thank you. We should have a town reporter in here too. And then, um, then Becky took his place for a while, Thank you. and she stepped down. Okay, then it's Becky, so it is up for re-election in 2022. So he would be filling this position until you reappoint um, next March. Okay. Okay. So oh, should I say till town meeting in March or just till next March? Well, you should note 2022. March okay. of 2022. Okay. Yeah. And was there a motion? I uh, still so move. <laughs> Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Yeah. Aye. I just wanted to put that clarity out there. Yeah, no, no, that's good. And then we have on the... Um, um, got multiple letters to all of us about the National Opioid Settlement Agreement. And this is, I guess, the more towns or, or, or municipal organizations that sign on to this agreement, it gives more weight to the state to get a bigger settlement. This doesn't necessarily mean, I don't think that the town of Rochester will see directly funds from that, but theoretically more money coming to the state would trickle down in some aspect to us. I don't see any reason not to not to sign on to that. Right. You guys? Do all three um, of us sign that letter? I think we have to, um, we'll receive more paperwork and emails, but um, there will be some signatures required. So yeah. we're putting our support behind. Yeah. The agreement. Yeah. So, Dude, am I correct that all the towns in the state of Vermont received the same letter, or yes. am I wrong? Okay. Not only all the towns, but all the members of the select board and the town clerk. They were very um, the blanket approach which, <laughs> with their uh, their um, request for support in this mm -hmm. endeavor. So I'd, I'd um, move to, um, to to sign on on behalf of the town of Rochester to the the um, national op opioid settlement agreement. I would second that. Okay, all in favor? All right. All right. And I guess once we sign on, we'll get more paperwork in the mail. Okay. So we have next on the agenda the um, update to the town employee vacation policy for in, in the employee policy book. Frank, you had been working on that some. Do you want to I can extrapolate? I can, sure. Um, Nancy and I kind of put it together. We, we didn't change a whole lot. We're just changing it to a calendar year, going back to a calendar year instead of, instead of the, the time of employment, the date of employment hired. So... It'll make it easier for the uh, keeping track of it for the girls in the office. And I have talked to two of the road crew and they're fine with that change. Um, there is some issues that we need to discuss in a executive session about how we implement this and come up with some sort of way to do it. But we need to do that in private. So that's about the only thing, the, the only change. And the other thing is we're doing it on an hourly time instead of a, a day week thing so we're just changing if a guy's got two weeks he's got 80 hours of vacation time so he can take a you know three hours and still have you know keep track of it himself a little bit clearer than a, a day or half a day or what have you just make right. more specific okay. yeah and the and the gals will have a, a lot easier time keeping track of it for them yeah. too so 
it's just a better all the way around. So, and they're all good. With it, so. All right. So. Yeah, Nancy. Nancy. It also applies to any um, employees in the town office that are eligible for vacation coverage. Right. It's yes. not just the road crew. It's no. the it's employee. You're right. Thank, yeah. thank you, Nancy. <clears throat> All right, so I, I move to, to um, make that update formal. I second that. All in favor? All right. All right. Okay. Um, hello, Joan. I, um, I think I successfully welcomed you to the meeting. You want to um, take the helm? Yes, sure. Uh, just two quick items. Um, our generator grant with Department of Public Service has been finalized, and uh, we have until September, uh, I'm sorry, August 31st of 2022 to complete the project. So uh, my question is whether you want to hold off going off to, out to bid and, and getting this thing installed uh, until maybe next year um, in case maybe supply chain, chain issues are a little better, maybe prices have stabilized some um, and contractors will be more available um, or we could move ahead whenever whenever you want um, just wanting to know what your time what you want the timing to be I would be inclined to go ahead and, and go out to bid immediately um, uh, I think the prices are only going to go up if we wait longer and if they yeah. if, the, if they can't um, source it immediately at least we're in the, in the queue and Absolutely. You know, yeah. Every, yeah. Everybody appears to be backed up a lot, so yeah. I, I think it's probably yeah, a good so idea. Good. Okay. That makes sense. All right. I'll get started on that. And, and Frank, I'll work with you to the extent I need anything from you. I'm not sure what at this point. Uh, yeah. I'll have to get that. Yeah, I'll, I'll be willing to do that, Joe. And your um, second item? Once you um, thaw out there. Now, while well, um, Joan is frozen, this um, um, didn't you learn something in the workshops about um, in a Zoom um, authorized meeting, if the person speaking freezes, that you really have to put the meeting on hold or something like that? What did you learn about that? Well, that it's important that all of our systems are running properly. That everybody can be seen and heard. Um, okay. I'm back. Sure. Moving again. She's back. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Okay. So we didn't anyway. make any important decisions while you were in. in <laughs> Congrats. Uh, Let me try that again then. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, now that uh, we finally have this agreement, they're extremely anxious to have it uh, signed and back to them. I think it has something to do with their. Uh, something to do with what's going on in DC, <laughs> perhaps with debt ceiling and. Uh, securing budgets before um, they vaporize. Uh, so anyway, Dune, I'll I'll be sending that document to Julie tomorrow. Um, I think. Well, actually, no. I'm sorry. I should get used to this. Um, it's an electronic signature. The docu sign. You and hopefully that will work. But let me. So, know Joan, I think this it. might have been lost when you um, went into limbo. But what's the agreement we're talking about? Oh, sorry. This is the West Hill Bridge memorandum. Um, okay. Uh, Grant agreement, essentially. All right. Here, the part about how they're they're anxious to get it uh, back yeah. signed. Okay. So yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said about the West Hill Branch Agreement. What what was about? What was there about it? Because when you froze, uh, the grant agreement is ready to be signed. Okay, thank you. And and so the board is saying they're going to sign it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think we've already. Uh, I don't think we need to move. This is something that we've decided upon in the past. And, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We just need to get uh, Just so you know, this is just an update. I don't have any final information yet from uh, VTrans, but Chris Bump has been great about trying to locate some money for us. I think I told you last time uh, we can use the uh, funds that we re returned or actually never received for the Mount Cushman culvert. He believes, he says it looks good for approvals. We've gone through some preliminary approvals on uh, uh, thing, fact finding stuff that VTrans has to do on all federally funded projects. That's been done. 
And now he just has to take it through uh, the internal process and make sure um, uh, the state, the higher ups at the state uh, have anything to say about this. So maybe by the next meeting, I'll, I'll have the word for you on that. All right. So the, the money that he's been helping you locate is to work is for this West Hill project, if he can uh, get it? If, so yes, if we need more than the 600,000 okay. that thank you from the feds. So All right, I'll let's move forward forward. that to you tomorrow, Dune. And then okay. if you're able to get it back to me tomorrow, that would be great. Brian, uh, yep. yeah, Brian, I think has to sign it as well. All right. Well, thank you, John. That's it. Yep. Yes, that's it. All right. Um, Tony, welcome. It's nice to see you again. Thank you. Yep. Let's see. We have a trustees meeting tomorrow at six o'clock. Uh, I'm not completely sure where that is. Last time we met outside, but that may still be happening. And uh, I can't hear what he's saying. Oh, I know. Oh. You might want to come up to the microphone and yeah. try it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give it a shot, Tony. Let's <laughs> no, the, the one up there. Yeah. Let's see if that works. Can you hear me? Hello. Any better? Much better, thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. yeah. okay, so we have a trustees meeting tomorrow at uh, 6 o'clock. And it's really kind of neat that uh, our librarian... Uh, Jeanette has been uh, chosen and appointed as one of only three public librarians in the state to serve on the working group on the status of libraries in Vermont. That's quite a, quite a title for a committee, but it uh, was formed by the legislature, and uh, she'll be working uh, for a year on that before they uh, do a report to present to the legislature. So uh, yeah, that's kind of neat for, for Jeanette and for our library, really. Uh, and so is this, this is Tony, excuse me, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I couldn't write as fast as you were talking. <laughs> the, committee she, the committee she's working on, is, is there, what, what is their aim? And then I'll get out of your hair, I'm sorry. They are doing a study of the libraries in the state. And they're going to see how they work, I guess, and that sort of thing. I'm not exactly sure about the details either. But. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. No, Excuse me. Uh, and she's also working to increase the children's programs, and we have some adult programs that are coming up uh, soon also. Oh, I guess that's oh, my report. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate you coming regularly. Okay. Uh, we don't have anyone from the highway here, but they've been um, just about done with the mowing. They're, um, they have the one tractor for another week. Um, and um, I know today he was headed up to grade um, New Boston or Jerusalem Sky, Hill. Sky Hill. Oh, Sky Hill. Yeah. Right, yeah, that's what he did. Yeah. <coughs> but, um, Terry. Oh. Oh. I just, you're talking about the uh, mowing of roadside. Yeah. I thought they were doing a much, much better job this year than we've seen in the past quite often. Um, yeah, last year was kind of harsh with the mowing because there was playing a lot of catch up from a yeah. uh, 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 less than perfect job so uh, this year was obviously going to be um, not as dramatic as last year because most of the hard pruning was had been done so yeah it, um, yes but yeah terry uh, i i got a price from uh champlin on upgrading our it's basically the uh, mission controls that tell tell me what's going on with the sewers. Of course, they're outdated. Uh, about twenty five hundred bucks to change uh, change what it needs. Is it functioning for you now? Uh, it calls me sometimes at three in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which isn't great. I mean, <laughs> like an ex-girlfriend uh, or something, right? <laughs> you don't know. I'm sorry, Patty. I really couldn't hear what Terry was saying about what was not functioning properly. I apologize. 
<laughs> the mission control is not handling that. That tells me what's going on with the sewer. Okay. Uh, so the mission control program for the sewer isn't working properly. Right. Correct. Thank you. It, it needs to be upgraded. It's just like any computer stuff, you know, it's yeah. it's original. The one down in Site 4 is 17 years old, so that's got to be changed out and upgraded to the new modules. You know, it's no different than like our radios went through the fire department when they switched, you know, frequencies. Mm -hmm. So this is basically the same thing. We just haven't ever upgraded it. So it's about time. Yeah. So I'm going to tell them to go ahead. Yeah. Just because, you know, it's going to break where we can't. It doesn't yep. work at all. Yep. Absolutely. But other than that, I'm, I'm just I'm making a list of uh, stuff that we should think about applying for some grant money heavily. Mm -hmm. For the water and sewer. There's good money coming down the pike. What is your involvement for the upgrade? What, what, are, what are you going to need? Are they just going to send you a program and you're going to do it? Is there hardware involved? No, they'll come down and they'll redo it all and then it just it'd be on my phone. Okay. so We're still working the bugs out for the last one they did. They're going to take care of everything. Right. Perfect. And it, when we get it all caught up, I'm going to have them start sending the information to Julie, too. Yeah. Because right now, I'm the only one who gets it. No, the redundancy is a good idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so we can have it at the town office. Right. All right. Does Cody have access to that? He will have when it's, when we, once we bring it up. There's no sense in setting it up right now until it's all ready. Okay. From what they tell me. Okay. So I'm going to give them Cody's number and the town office. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Other than that, I've got, you know, I just, like I said, I've been working on what we need to go after for some funds. Yeah, we should definitely make a list. Yeah, I've been making it, and then I'm going to prioritize it. Yep. Because there's definitely some, we've got some issues with coming up on the sewer we're going to have to deal with. That's a good, uh, prioritize that list would be great. So then we can figure out what's uh, needed the most, go from there. But there's money out there. Yeah. 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 yeah, we know that. And right now, you know, if we aren't, if we play for it, and if I have to get it engineered, I get to get a hold of I'm waiting for Jeremy to call me back. And if we got to get it engineered, then we're going to have to think about hiring them to engineer it all so it's ready. Most of these jobs, you aren't going to get the funding unless it's shovel ready. Shovel ready, yeah. Yep. So we might have to spend a little bit to, to get it shovel ready, but there's a couple items I'm hoping that we don't have to have an engineer for. We also have Larry Strauss on, on some of this as well. So we had seminars last week that was pointing towards utility and for the money yeah. and all of yeah. that. Mm -hmm. What about fire time? Well, we owe you money on that anyway, and I, and mm -hmm. I think it's just up to us to, to yeah. put that money to you, and it's an easy fix. I mean, you ordered hose you couldn't get, so that money transferred to the general fund at the close of the year. Right. And so that came out of your budget, and that a, the ARPA money should be able to replace that, I would think. Mm -hmm. And also uh, for your fundraiser yeah. too, yeah. that you missed out on, that's an easy fix for the COVID funds too. So w when you need that money, I guess our our job would be to just approve that mm -hmm. to well, you get, and document it. I'll that document way. the stuff. Yeah. I'll get together with my assistant. Back up paperwork. <laughs> Back up paperwork. And we'll yeah. make it look good. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what we, we have to make it look right. So. Yeah. Make so right. when you when you need that, you always, that's what you need to do, and then we can approve the funds to go there. 
because I'm trying right now. Document. I think I might have a line on getting a fill machine for little nothing. An air tank fill, you're mm -hmm. saying? Well, the uh, the not the compressor, but the other part, which is still like sixteen, seventeen grand. Yeah. Well, I might get one second hand for cheap. Working on it. Yeah. Well, good luck. Yeah. Other than that, I don't have anything. All right, thank you. Um, I do not see Jeff here, our energy coordinator, um, tonight. We we did have that return from the EEI people that mm -hmm. Jeff and I toured the town buildings, and that report is in your thing there. I think I even sent that to you. And I would ask Julie if she would print up a couple copies. I'd like one. That, yep. Well, you can have one and make it available in the town office for anybody that would like to read it. Mm -hmm. It's eye-opening and kind of, kind of scary. let you see. Yeah, it's a real scary. Uh, I'm not sure quite how we should address it as a board, but I, th I think we need to maybe get a group together that has more knowledge about construction than we as a board. Mm -hmm and figure out what we should do and how we should go about doing it. And it's it's uh, all tied in with the high school and with all our town buildings. So mm -hmm. it's just something that we need to address or at least start looking at it to address and make a plan moving forward. Um, excuse me, Frank, um, if I said um, that you and um, the energy coordinator, Jeff Gephardt, had recently made a tour of town buildings and um, the copies of a report on what you found will be available? Yes, it's, a, it's by uh, the EEI people. It was, yeah, it was a, a free service that they do, that they come around and go through your buildings and give you recommendations on how to improve and make them more energy efficient and also uh, more workable. Yeah, so it's a, basically a town building audit and dealing and looked at the town hall, the high school, the fire department, the public works department, the water treatment facility, and the library. Okay, and so if I said copies of what they, of the report, which includes their recommendations, will be available at the town office? There's, there's no real recommendations. They're just, it was just a fact mission. Yeah. Okay, so copies of what, of the report of what you yeah. found will be available. Right. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you letting us. Or, or Julie can e email anyone that's interested in one, a copy of that. Martha, we met with these people on uh, our meeting of June 28th, um, and then right. the actual vi site visit to the buildings was done on July 13th. So refresh my memories to what EEI stood for, I forgot. Energy Efficient if Investments. Incorporated. Incorporated. Energy Efficient Investments Incorporated. That's the name yeah. of their company. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And here's their logo. Oh, there it is. Thank you very much. I appreciate you letting me ask questions. Sure. All right. No end of projects to look at. Um, so in terms of old business, we don't have anything on the agenda. Um, one item that I'd been thinking about a little bit it was Barry Chadwick's um, suggestion of um, a plaque for Eric Wells to um, um, join the one for Damien Sleeth on the stone by the tennis courts. And I'm not sure that that's, I like the idea of a, a plaque for Eric Wells, but I don't know if that's the spot to put it because that is um, when you, I, I walk by that rock at least once a day walking my dog and it's the placement of that, it's, it's kind of perfect on that stone, and I think that adding something next to it, under it, up it, 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 it would start to um, um, not clutter it up, but it, it, I think that perhaps um, a different, a different spot, a uh, different, you know. But I, I like the idea of of um, something to, you know, commemorate Eric. But I don't, I don't think that's the spot to do it necessarily. 
Yeah, we'll see if he comes back with a proposal. Okay. okay. Um, that was just my... Okay, uh, so yeah. should I mention this at all or not? Well, it's... um. Sure, if you want it, um... yeah, it's... Um... You mentioned that, that Barry had made a suggestion of a, mem a memorial plaque. Yeah, for yeah Eric. and... Um, like the idea, but not sure if that um, that's the spot to do it. Okay. Yeah. Um, there, is, yeah. there is something else there that we need to act on. I think it's uh, <clears throat> the health officer. I think is uh, there's a form in there that yeah. says I think John White is maybe up. This one. But here. I was going to add it for the next one. Yeah. This um. It's he's, coming up quick though. He was appointed, but it's going to expire on the end of November. Yep. And yeah. So we have to register that with the state. I think there's a, all that yeah. information is in there. So, yeah. So we'll um, um, get with John. I'm, I'm just, well, I don't want to assume anything, but I would expect that he would be willing to continue. But we'll um, get that, you know, add it to the next meeting's agenda. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, anything else on old business that you guys want to talk about? No. No. Um, do we don't have anyone for um, signed up for public comment? Does anyone on Zoom World or in the physically want it? It's um, well, I guess we could just say um, Happy Indigenous People's, People's Day, Day to everyone. <laughs> yeah. you know, um, thanks for um, joining the meeting. On um, it's a holiday for some bank holiday, I guess you could call it. Um, at least the store was open. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I guess we've just got some bills to sign, and, that, and that's it. Now, did I hear you? We're going to go into executive session. I would like an executive and we're session gonna enter for employees. Okay, so is that anything that I that you could let me know if you make a decision? Do you anticipate making some sort of decision that I should? Well, it's just regarding the decision that we already made about changing the vacation. Uh, to a calendar year rather than your anniversary of higher day. Okay. All right. All right. Then I won't worry about it. All right. Um, as far um, as okay. Thank you very much for for letting me ask questions. I appreciate it. No problem. No problem. So we'll um, close this meeting now and and enter executive session in, in ten to seven. Sorry. Go ahead, have a good evening, everybody. Right. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye.